Hello everybody, King Jiggy here, and welcome to another Pokemon X and Y speculation video. Um, you know, just uh, just recently, today, or last night, whenever this video comes out, um, we got a little more information on some of the uh, functions and whatnot of the upcoming games, and, you know, as well as a few other Pokemon-related things that I'm going to go ahead and talk about that aren't really included in the games, well, aren't really, they don't really have to do with the game anyway, but, you know, still, a couple good things to happen to the Pokemon world, and, you know, to start off with, um, the big thing is that there was this thing, I had no idea that this even happened, but there was this thing called the Pokemon Game Show, um, I'm not sure if this was, like, a TV program, or if it was, like, something akin to, like, Comic-Con on a smaller level for Pokemon fans or something like that. I don't know. But apparently whatever it was, it had a demo where people could uh, go in and play a small portion of the game. And I guess they had both X and Y. Um, the images that I'm seeing uh, show both the uh, A Nintendo 3DS with both the X and the Y loading screens. Um, basically, the X loading screen has uh, Pokemon X version on the uh, top screen in blue, and it's got like forest behind it, something like that. Uh, both of them have like the logo and then a bright light, and there's like, or for X, there's like trees and stuff around the edges, and then for Y, it looks like clouds. And then on the bottom screen for X, it shows uh, Xerneas, if I'm saying the name right. Uh, kind of standing in a forest. I don't know if he'll be moving around or anything anything like that. And then um, for Y, it shows Yveltal uh, kind of flying around, stuff like that. And this demo was, uh, from my understanding, kind of short but really beefy. Uh, pretty much you start off the demo and you are told that you have to go visit Professor Sycamore, and on the way there you battle your rival with an interesting plot twist. You actually have a time limit to battling them. Um, I don't know if that's the full battle, or if your actions are going to be timed, and if you don't do anything, then, you know, you can't do anything. I, I have no idea what the timed aspect is. Um, it might be that, you know, just if you don't beat him in the time limit, you lose the battle, something like that. But, um, you know, all the Pokemon are, are pre- placed in the game, I think, so it's going to be the same Pokemon used by everyone, and um, after you beat the rival, you get to Professor Sycamore, and he actually gives you a Mewtwo, and he teaches you about Mega Evolution. So, uh, basically how Mega Evolution is explained in this is that in the battle screen, like under the attacks, and there's going to be a picture for it, um, It'll give you the attacks, like for Mewtwo, from what I can see, it's going to be uh, Psychic, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, and I want to say th that the last one is Recover, but I'm not completely sure. I can't remember how many power points Recover has. I, I want to say it's 10, but I, it could be 15. I'm, I'm not sure. But um, Basically, if it is holding the Mega Stone, uh, a button will appear under the attacks that kind of shows the Mega Evolution icon, and you can click on that and cause the, me the Mega Evolution, and then you can still attack that turn. So, uh, that's pretty much how it's explained, and then after uh, Professor Sy Sycamore shows you how to, do th how to do that, you actually proceed to battle Professor Sycamore, and from, let's see here, from what Sarabi explains, Sycamore uses a Chandelure, a Dragonite, and a Crobat. And if this is actually something that might have been taken from the in-game uh, playing itself, that may confirm that both Dragonite and Crobat are going to be both part of the Kalos Pokedex. So, um, I think we'd already seen Chandelure before this. I think it might have been in an image where it was showing off some of the Pokemon that would show up in the game. Um... Yeah, and another thing that was shown, well, not shown, but, well, okay, I guess there's a picture of it. Um, during the demo, there's also parts where you ride Skiddo, 
or Skidoo, whatever the name is, and it also shows riding Rhyhorn. So I'm guessing that as long as it is a large quadrupedal Pokemon, you'll be able to ride it. Um, I, thinking about it, I can see you being able to ride Rhyhorn, but uh, once it gets to ride on, I can't really see it being a rideable Pokemon anymore. So I think there will be a, a finite specific list of the ones that you'll be able to ride through specific routes. And, you know, we'll have to see where that goes from there. And, well, uh, one of the other things about this is that with the Pokemon that it selected for the demo, um, we actually got to see some interesting movesets. Um, I, I already went through Mewtwo's, at least the one that it showed. Um, Helioptile was shown in it. Helioptile, Helioptile. I don't know. I'm terrible with the new names. Um, it had the move sets of Tail Whip, Thundershock, Quick Attack, and Parabolic Charge. Um, Sylveon was listed in there with Swift, Quick Attack, Fairy Wind, and Tail Whip. So, you know, they're giving them pretty basic moves. Pretty much, like, two or three for, you know, the normal type, and then, like, one or more for their actual element. Uh, Froki was included to have Water Pulse, Quick Attack, Lick, and Round which, you know, pretty much covers the whole frog basis. And I think the most interesting one was that uh, Fennekin, which I think was given to the player for the demo, um, you know, it was shown to have Flame Charge, Fire Spin, Tail Whip, and Psybeam. Psybeam being the big one here. So if I can make any speculation about the rest of the game just from this, I'm pretty sure that we can rule out Fennekin being a fire fighting type. Just because since Medicham, I don't think there has been a psychic type that can, or a fighting type that can use psychic type attacks. Well, Gardevoir, or Gallade, not Gardevoir. But, you know, I think at this point it might be that um, the Fennekin is going to evolve into a fire psychic type. And if not that, it'll be like a solid fire type that has access to psychic type moves. So, we're going to have to see where that goes from there, and, you know, have a little bit of fun with that. You know, just because it's fun to speculate. And then, another thing that was shown uh, toward the end, um, well, not really, well, I guess it was shown, but there's no pictures for it, was that, um, uh, what was it? Um, the game is actually redone so that trainers are actually running instead of walking during the game. Um, they've kind of switched it around because of the analog stick. Um, it says that the player will always be running, and that if you want to just walk to make traveling easier instead of faster, you'd have to press and hold the B button. So, you know, they've switched that around. I know people have been wanting to be able to move faster without having to be on the ridiculous bike or having to sit there holding the B button the whole time, or the Y button, or whichever one it was later on. I can't really remember. No, it was the B button. Y button was for the bike, yeah. So, you know, it's finally good to see that we'll be able to uh, speed up a little bit of the walking around. And then uh, it goes on to more of the features of the AIM, or the AMIE, what, however you pronounce, like I said, I'm terrible with the names, however you pronounce the name for the new feature where you uh, actually take care of the Pokemon. Uh, it was shown to have like uh, three stat listings. Uh, one of them is for friendliness, one is for hunger, and one is for play. Uh, as of the point where I'm recording this, there's nothing yet that says how these affect the game, but apparently the food that you feed to the Pokemon are going to be called Pofurns, or is it, um, Pofures, Pofures, something like that. I'm, I'm trying to think, you know, French sounding words, but when I see it, I just think of the word Poffin, like the, uh, the things from, I think it was third generation, so they, it might just be Poffins redone, I can't really completely see it yet, but, um, yeah, so one of the last things about the game, 
was, I don't know if this was actually a game or a part of the game, but there was actually footage shown of, like, some kind of battle. I Really, it's just a picture that I can see right now. I, I have no um, actual video footage or anything of this, but it is a battle between a Blaziken and a Lucario, and it to me, it doesn't look like any of the other in-game footage. It looks too in-depth. So what I'm thinking is this might be footage for whatever is coming next in the series for the uh, console games, like whatever's coming out for um, Wii or Wii U. That's um, I'm trying to think of what the names were for the previous games. The only ones that come to mind are... Uh, uh, what are, what were they? Um, Coliseum. So, whatever that game is. Because this one, it looks, the graphics look a lot cleaner than they do on the 3DS. And it shows them battling in some kind of town street that, to me, when you look at the buildings and everything, it looks kind of like Times Square. So, you know, it, it probably isn't, but from what I can tell, I want to say that this is probably going to be the next uh, major console game, um, kind of the one to, I don't know, allow you to do whatever you want to do with your Pokemon in the games on the Wii and Wii U. Hopefully just the Wii U, because, you know, that thing really needs some sales. But, yeah, so, moving away from the games, um, the next big tidbit that was announced was a new anime series coming out. Um, it's going to be titled Pokemon The Origins. I don't know if that's going to be the English name yet, but that's pretty much the Japanese name for it right now. And what this series is going to be, well, I, I guess I should say first that it has not been, um, you know, it hasn't been confirmed as a series or just like a one-off special. There isn't really anything. I want to say it's a series because it looks like it's going to be really fantastic. But, um... Basically, it's a series that follows the games instead of Ash and whatever he's doing. But it's going to be based on Red, and he is going to be going... It's going to be starting from the very beginning, following his journey through basically the first generation of the game. It's going to have him in there, it's going to have Green, they're going to be doing the whole rival thing, and it also showed Red at least battling Brock, and... The first thing that you can tell about this series is that it's got a completely different style. You can tell from the character designs, you can tell from the Pokemon designs, you can tell from the building designs, the colors, the shading, just everything. It looks a lot different, so it's going to stand out a lot from the first anime series. I'm really hoping that this one does good. Especially, you know, I I kind of want it to be like a more serious one. Um, I, I feel like the, uh, normal Pokemon anime with, uh, Ash and all that, I feel like it's too kiddy, too, I don't know, it's, it's got, it, it's not too serious. Like, if you think of a world where you're battling magical animals against each other, you'd think that it'd be a pretty serious business, but, you know, they make it really fun and childlike in the normal one. So I'm hoping that this one is kind of, you know, a little darker, a little more serious, you know, just all around different, which, you know, different is always good. And, you know, in this one, like I said, it shows red, it shows green, it shows Professor Oak, it shows Brock, and it shows Lance. So I'm hoping that, you know, since it's throughout the whole preview for it. It shows, like, the beginning, and then later on it shows red with Charizard, and it shows green with Blastoise. I'm hoping that those are, that it's not going to just be kind of, like, a special, that it's going to be a series, and that those are just images from the whole thing, because I would really love to see this be a series. I'd love to see them take this, like, maybe even, well, I guess they couldn't take this from the manga, because they started off with completely different Pokemon. Um, thinking back to the manga, Red started off with Bulbasaur, and Green started off with Charizard, or Charmander, so, you know, it would be interesting to see 
this go on and then see where they'd take it for the rest of the regions. All I know is that this is coming out on October 2nd, I want to say, kind of around the same time as the anime for X and Y, maybe a little bit earlier, maybe um, this will come out and get a few established episodes and then the anime will kick back in. You know, we'll have to see where it goes. And the last one, or last little tidbit of information has to do with the trading card game. And just from a simple image that was shown during the uh, the game show was that um, the next big trading card game series that's going to be out in Japan will include the fairy type. And the picture for the set includes the energy image for the fairy type. It's going to it's already, I think it's already said that the fairy type is going to have its own special energy, kind of like the dark and steel types had. So, other than the dragon type being announced earlier this year and implemented into the game, this means that the fairy type will be the new type in the game, uh, kind of like the pair in the group, since, you know, the first new additions to the game were brought back in 1999 with dark and steel. So, you know, um, I think... It it looks all right. I'm I'm still trying to figure it out. It it looks kind of like a star with wings under it. Um, I feel like there might be too much going on with the energy. The thing that I'm kind of worried about is that it's kind of like a pinkish magenta color, and you know unless they really darken the psychic type coloring for the trading card game, it might get a little confusing, unless they just go full out pink with these. So, you know, um, yeah. And I think that might be all I have to talk about. Um, you know, leave down in the comment section what you, you know, any ideas that you have, anything that's come out since I've made this video, go ahead and add it to the bottom just, you know, to get it in there. Um, I don't know if I'll make a follow-up video to this in case more information comes out. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you all for watching, and I appreciate you guys sticking around, and hopefully I'll be back soon with more information. See ya.